Previously, I showed you how to install Home Assistant on a laptop, on a uh, MacBook Pro, and then ultimately this HP Thin Client. But you know, I'm getting that itch to upgrade, and I finally got a chance to upgrade thanks to people in my community who is giving away free tech stuff. So today, we're going to be converting this ASUS Chromebox into a Home Assistant server. All you have to do is pop the bottom feet out and then release the four Phillips screw. This thing is so compact. It's crazy and I love it. Once you remove the four Phillips on the bottom, go ahead and use something to pry this thing open. The seal is crazy good so you might not find a seam at first but it's definitely there if you try to pry open a lid. Now in order to install Home Assistant onto this Chrome box, we're using this instruction right here. You can follow the steps and it'll work fine. Or you can go ahead and follow along in this video. The first thing you need to do is remove this screw. Go ahead and try to find it. There's only one of it. And it's near the Wi-Fi car right here, as you can see. In the instruction, whenever they want you to press the recovery button, this is it. You need a paper clip to ram into it to hold that button down. You'll definitely feel it when you touch it, by the way. So be sure to attach the uh, keyboard, the mouse, the monitor, and a power cable, of course, to power up the whole thing. Go ahead and insert a uh, paper clip into that button that I just showed you, and then press the power button to power on the Chrome box. As soon as it powers on, you'll see the screen. It'll say OS is missing or damaged. As soon as you see the screen, go ahead and type Control D on your keyboard. And now, hopefully you should see something like OS verification is off. Good job. Next up, it's going to reboot several times to get the system into developer's mode. It does take a while, so now's a good time to get some snack. When it asks you to log in, go ahead and type in Chrome OS. Next up, type in a bunch of this command. Be careful of your syntax, obviously, because this is very picky. And don't worry, if you mess up, you can start all over again with the commands, that is. When you add this option, go ahead and select option number 6. Press Y and press Enter to continue. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to do it? Yes. If you want, now's a good time to back up the firmware as well. So if you want, plug in an empty USB stick and then type in Y and then enter to back up the firmware onto that USB stick. Type in P to power off because we are totally done with this process. Now, for whatever reason, I could not get this part working properly. So I'm just going to do it my way. Let's go back to the previous image that you saw earlier before. This is the Wi-Fi module. Go ahead and release it by unscrewing this Phillips and then slide the Wi-Fi card out. You'll do the same thing for this SSD right here. Release this tiny Phillips. This SSD should then lift up slightly automatically by itself and you just grab it and then pull it out. I happen to have a bunch of SSD to USB adapter laying around, as you can see. This SSD is pulled from another laptop, so all I did was remove this SSD, slide the Chromebox SSD in, and then connect this to my desktop, my Windows desktop that is. We need to write an image of Home Assistant onto that SSD. So go ahead and go into this website right now, copy the link, open Belena Etcher, flash from URL, paste the URL in, click OK, select the target, the target will be the USB drive stick that you insert from that SSD adapter, and then click select. I'm going to cancel because I don't want to format my 8TB hard drive. 
but yours should show up as 16 gigabytes and then click on flash I would say it will take about 15 minutes to write that OS onto that SSD for you once it's done go ahead and do everything back in reverse meaning take the SSD out from the USB adapter plug it back into the M2 slot plug the Wi-Fi adapter back in and then close up the whole Chrome box you are now all done with the hardware as well as the software side so go ahead and plug an Ethernet cable into that Ethernet jack in the back of the Chrome box press the power button to power up the Chrome box once more you should see a brand new home assistant server running for the first time it will give you an IP address right there if you open your browser up to it then you will see or you can type in homeassistant.local colon 8123 initially it will take forever to get onto that IP address because the server is trying to configure itself for the very first time so it will take forever maybe at least uh, 20 minutes but once you're done you can go ahead and go into the settings and make all the changes all right hopefully you found this video helpful to get your chrome box working as a home assistant server i find that these thin clients and chrome boxes are so much better than any raspberry pi you have a bunch of ports great ability of ram memory and obviously stability i really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching